Higgins Museum is? Um, is it behind the mound? It's um, behind the castle mound, just down the embankment. The Higgins Bedford dates back to almost 200 years and has its own rich history of use and occupation. Unfortunately, the museum has been closed since October 2010. However, Prince Charles has recently reopened the museum after a council-funded refurbishment. Cecil Higgins Art Gallery collection came from Cecil Higgins, obviously. Um, it was his granddad Charles Higgins who moved to Bedford and built the brewery and the Higgins home, which is the building at the end of the site. I mean, he had particularly fine taste, bought the best of everything in terms of glass, ceramics, furniture. It's changed a lot, obviously. It means um, our capacity is much greater, so things like the education spaces are bigger and they've got more facilities, so I'd say our capacity there has doubled. Um, we never had a cafe. People really expect and like to have a cafe when they come to the museum, so it's nice that you can now come here and have a nice cup of coffee. The main role of the museum is to be um, you know, a resource for the people of Bedford and for visitors to Bedford and the surrounding borough. Um, and that includes schools, includes families, includes older people, includes researchers, academics, you know, a lot of different audiences. David Litchfield was commissioned by the Higgins to draw famous Bedfordians. My involvement with the Higgins is that um, a couple of years ago I illustrated for a, a local publication called the Bedford, Bedford Clanger um, and my feature that I did was called Challenge David and it was kind of a funny little feature where people would send in like really ridiculous things for me to draw like um, oh they wanted me to draw the mayor on a flying unicorn and like bizarre things, like a, a, a sloth um, juggling coat hangers, like ridiculous things really. And I did that for a few months. And in the end, I thought this is getting a bit too crazy. You know, people are just sending stuff in to sort of take the mick and everything. So we changed it. And I came up with this idea of um, having a feature called Great Bedfordians, um, which every month someone would send in a suggestion for someone who they thought was a Great Bedfordian. Um, sort of through history and also in kind of modern day um, and yeah so we got people sending in suggestions and then uh, Lydia and Gemma who works at the Higgins would give me a bit of background information about these people um, uh, like Colonel Burnaby for example they give me a bit of the history behind him and also some some images of him um, and then I would turn them into sort of kind of quirky caricatures um, illustrate these kind of quirky caricatures and then they put the, the text on it and it, that, that became a feature in the in the Bedford Clanger and quite a popular one um, and then when it came to the time that the Higgins was opening um, they discussed having a section of the Higgins based around this great Bedfordian idea um, and they would use my illustrations uh, as part of the display for, for the, uh, some of these great Bedfordians. The Higgins has a vast collection of artworks spanning from Turner to Kaufman. Two main collections here. One of those is the Cecil Higgins collection, and that's the things that used to be in what's called the Cecil Higgins Art Gallery. Um, and that's part of the site now. And that collection is a collection of um, fine and decorative art, so paintings, ceramics, glass furniture, that sort of thing. And then there's what we used to call the museum collection, which is more the objects that relate to the story of Bedford. We've got objects from literally from all the way around the world, so from, um, from the Arctic right down to um, New Zealand. 